Hey folks, Mike here from Ollie, and today I'm super excited to give you a walkthrough of the highly anticipated Ollie Pro plugin. Ollie Pro builds on the excitement and success of our Ollie Block theme, which is a WordPress theme that integrates seamlessly with all of the powerful new features in WordPress, like the site editor patterns, global styles, and more. The huge value with block themes like Ollie is that it gives you a no code or low code way of building beautiful, responsive websites right inside WordPress without a bulky or expensive page builder. Now, what people really loved about the Ollie theme was the beautiful patterns we included in the theme. Patterns are like design components that make it super easy and fun to build pages quickly right inside the WordPress editor. So we took that excitement around patterns and built an entire pro experience around it. The Ollie Pattern Library is an expansive and growing collection of expertly crafted patterns that help you design faster and publish sooner. And the interface we've wrapped this in is familiar, intuitive, and incredibly powerful. All right, let's go ahead and check this out. Let's dive in and check out the Ollie Pro experience. All right, folks, if you don't have Ollie Pro yet, you can visit ollywp.com. We've put together a whole website that details everything there is to know about the Ollie Block theme. And also we've created an Ollie Pro page where you can find out everything that comes with Ollie Pro and you can also make a purchase here. So once you do make a purchase, you'll get an email with your order details and a link to create an account. Once you create that account, you can come back and click the My Account link on ollywp.com and access your account details page. So let's take a quick look at this and we'll hop into WordPress. So this is where you can manage all the details of your account. You can see here in the first box, just some general information. Um, billing and payments, we have a link here that'll take you to a customer portal where you can manage your subscription, upgrade, downgrade, cancel, etc. Activation, so depending on if you purchased the Ollie Pro single site or the Ollie Pro multi-site, that determines how many sites you can activate Ollie on. Uh, Ollie Pro on and you can manage those here. If you've activated on a site and you wanna take it off and put it on another site, you can come to this box here and um, deactivate it so you can put it somewhere else. Uh, downloads and extras. Downloads, you can download the Ollie Block theme. Uh, we'll show you how to do that in a minute here. And you can also download the latest version of the Pro plugin. Bonus resources, if you purchase the Ollie Pro Multi package, you'll get the Figma files that you can use to design, customize, etc and also access to the Slack community. Um, so that is all the, for the resources. And then just below, we've got some helpful videos and links to docs that uh, will help you get started. And then towards the bottom of the page, this is our uh, customer support area. So this is if you have a question about your Ollie Pro account or um, need to file a bug report or anything like that, um, ask us questions about you know, building with Ollie or Ollie Pro, this is where you'll do that. You send us a, an email using this form here We'll get it, we'll respond as quickly as possible and uh, shoot you a response. So there's some helpful details over here about what we can and can't help with. Um, and uh, that's basically it. So that's your account area. Um, now that we've checked that out, let's hop over into WordPress and start working with Ollie Pro. All right, let's go. All right, so here we are in WordPress. Let's go ahead and install and activate Ollie Pro. So in your account page, I showed you there's a link to download the latest version of Ollie Pro. It's gonna download a zip to your site, and we're gonna use that to upload into our WordPress site like we would any other WordPress plugin. So I'm gonna to go to Plugins, Add New Plugin, Upload Plugin, choose Ollie Pro, and click Install, and activate the plugin. And you can see it's thrown a uh, notice up at the top. It says the Ollie Pro plugin needs the free Ollie theme to work. So we're gonna go ahead and activate that and install and activate. And you can see that worked. We're showing a nice message that says, welcome to Ollie Pro. Visit the Ollie Pro dashboard to activate Ollie Pro. We're gonna go ahead and do that. And you might've seen this in previous videos. This is our Ollie dashboard where you manage the theme. We have a, a site setup wizard and um, docs and a video library, all kind of contained in a nice um, uh, uh, dashboard here. But uh, what we wanna do is activate Ollie Pro. So I'm gonna go ahead and click activate Ollie Pro. And you can see here we have a hero area with a sign in form. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna put, um, my email in here and just grab a password and click sign in. It says login successful. 
and refresh to the page. And if I revisit that page, you can see I'm logged in. It says, you are, lo you are an Ali Pro. Logged in with my email and it shows me how many activations I have. Now you'll notice here it says zero of 10. That's because I'm on a local site, a local dev site, and we do not count that against your activations. So we want you to be able to build locally and push those uh, designs live, uh, and that would be where your activation happens. So um, yeah, we are activated here now, and what that means is any of the features of Ali Pro are now active on your site. So you don't have to go and install any extra plugins or anything like that. We've just automatically activated all that stuff under the hood. So um, from here, you can kind of continue to go through the theme setup wizard or check out the docs. I've created videos on these, which I'll link uh, where we cover these things in detail. But now that we're activated and ready to go, let's go ahead and hop into the WordPress editor and check out the Ali Pro pattern library. Let's go. All right, here I am back in the WordPress dashboard. And so the Ali Pro pattern library helps you build pages and posts very quickly with the pre-designed patterns that we've included in the pattern library. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and head into a page and just hop in there and, and see what it looks like. I'm gonna add a new page and call this pattern library. And to access the pattern library, I'm just gonna hit a slash and type Ollie. And you can see it, it's the first option there and click enter. Um, and you can see there's a button to open the pattern library. We'll, we'll talk about the instant search um, later on, but let's go ahead and open the pattern library. And as you can see, uh, once it loads here, it's uh, a very familiar interface and in that it looks like the WordPress core pattern library. And that's how we wanted it to feel. We didn't want to create an interface that felt foreign to WordPress. We wanted to create something that felt like it belonged in WordPress. And so we, we've kind of modeled our um, pattern library after that and just kind of taken it to the next level with kind of a pro experience. So um, let's look at the interface here and then we'll dive into uh, building a little bit. But um, on the left-hand sidebar, sidebar here, you'll see we have um, a few different um, uh, links for collections and then uh, pattern categories. So collections are sets of patterns that are all designed with the same fonts, color, uh, typography, spacing, et cetera. And you can see when I click into a collection, um, you can see that all of the patterns kind of have the same aesthetic, the same design, they share the same design language. And that effectively is kind of like its own WordPress theme. But the, the reason we did this was so that you could have, um, you know, a, several different styles to choose from while building out your pages. So, um, you know, um, you don't have to design yourself. We've included all of these uh, pages that kind of click together um, very seamlessly. So each collection has several pages, full page designs, so homepage designs, about pages, contact features, pricing tables, etc. And they have all of those uh, pages. And then below that, we have all of the patterns that make up those pages. So you're looking at hundreds of patterns here that are individual and also come together to make full page designs. So before we hop into any of that, let's hop back out and uh, continue looking at the user interface here. So those are collections and you can see we have, we've have we launched with three collections, Creator, Startup, and Studio, all distinct and uh, different styled. And then below that we have pattern categories and this just collects all of the hundreds of patterns into easily browsable categories. So you can see here, if I click the hero category, I'm shown all of the hero designs that we can use in our headers to kind of pack a nice um, you know, uh, attention grabbing punch to our, to the, to the top of our website. And so these are all of the hero designs found throughout all the different collections. If I go back, you know, maybe I want to check out, um, pricing. And again, this is going to show me all of the different pricing tables, pricing related patterns that we have on our site. So, um, that is the sidebar. Let's now look at the grid area because there's a lot going on over here. Let's start at the top. Obviously there's a search uh, where we can search and it'll bring up a live search of, of all the patterns and find uh, something you're looking for quickly. But we also have these actions over here. Let's start with at the far end, the grid view. So we've included a way to change the view so you can get a nice big preview of the patterns, the default uh, three column, or if you just wanna browse a lot at once, you can go with the four column layout. Um, and it just makes it easy to scan and you can, you can kind of find what you're looking for easily. 
I prefer the three column one, so that is the default. All right, filter. So there's a few filters here that we can work with. Um, we have a favorites feature uh, in here. So you could see there's a little heart next to some of these patterns. That is because these patterns are favorited. So I can see here, I can click and add to favorites. And now I can come back uh, and filter and just check out my favorites. And I can see all the patterns I've favorited. So if you're using a pattern regularly, or if you come across one and you're like, oh, I don't wanna forget about this one, you can add it to your favorites and you can come back and find that quickly. And then also any uh, website that you have Ali Pro activated on, you can access your favorites. So it's almost like a global favorites, which is really helpful because I often find that, you know, I'm, I'm, if I find a favorite, I'm, I'm maybe using that on multiple sites. And so I can uh, quickly access that without having to go and refind it on every single site. So, and to clear that, we're just gonna go ahead and do clear filter. Okay, so now I'm looking at all my patterns again. Uh, we have a sorting feature. You can sort by ascending, descending, or even the latest release patterns. So if you wanna see what we're um, releasing and uh, get the hottest patterns, you can do that. And then we have a bulk edit feature. So you can see here, all these patterns have a little checkbox. And if I click these, you can see I have some bulk edit options available. So this is really helpful. Maybe you're building a page and you know, it's like, okay, I like that. And uh, I need a context section and um, yes, this featured section. So you can take all of those and you can do a few different things. You can download them to your theme. You can insert it into the current page. You can favorite them all at once. You can remove from favorites and etc. So that's just a really helpful way of just speeding up the process instead of uh, adding a pattern, opening the, the modal again, adding another pattern. This is just a way of quickly um, working with multiple patterns. So let's go ahead and deselect that. So that is kind of the, uh, the actions there. Um, and these are super helpful, very powerful, and you'll find yourself using them. So, all right, now let's take a look at these patterns here. So there's a lot going on here as well. Like I said, this is kind of the Ollie Pro experience is, is putting all of these things at your fingertips so that it saves you time, uh, which saves you money saves you frustration. It's just kind of, it's it's meant to solve a lot of the little kind of annoyances with building with, with patterns. So um, let's take a look at these boxes here. So on each box, there's a um, pattern actions. In the pattern actions, we have pattern details, insert into page, add to favorites, and remove from favorites. So again, just quick actions that we can take here. Let's go ahead and click pattern details. And let's look at this one here. So the pattern details page gives you a live preview of each pattern. So this is a fully live preview. You can see I can select the text here. I can scroll the pattern. This isn't an image preview. This is a live preview of how it looks on our demo site. So it just gives you a very quick way of seeing uh, what the pattern looks like in a live setting. You can interact with it. Along the top, we have some preview toggles so you can see what the pattern looks like on a tablet or a mobile. Again, just a really quick and easy way of kind of visualizing as you're designing um, so that you can see and just make sure that everything works on all devices. So all of the patterns in the Ollie Pro library are responsive. You typically don't even have to mess with the responsive settings. Um, they are fully responsive out of the box and all built on the Ollie design system. So, uh, okay, and on, on the sidebar here, you can see we have uh, you know a pattern title, a description, and a link to the collection that it belongs to. If I click that, it takes me to the creator collection and I can browse all the related patterns. And then we have some pattern actions. So a download pattern button. This will actually download the pattern file from the cloud to your uh, WordPress theme. And the benefit of that is that you can then remix the pattern, you can edit it, you can duplicate it, you can um, you know, effectively create your own theme based on uh, the Ali Pro patterns. Um, so that's that. If you are um, instead maybe just uh, designing live on a site and you wanna just kind of work with patterns and, and put them onto the page and build quickly, you can take this pattern and just insert it. This is especially helpful if like this pattern we're looking at as a full page design. Um, instead of building out a page pattern by pattern, you can just insert this full page design and then customize it as needed.
Uh, we have a link to um, copy the pattern blocks. You can see if I click that, it says copied. And now I've copied all of the blocks uh, that belong to this pattern. And then I can take them and paste them on this page. I can go take them to another page, paste them there. I could do whatever I want. Just giving you a quick access to, to the markup there. And then a button to add or remove from the favorites. And then some related categories. So we have, you know, I could click and browse other patterns in the same category as this one. So just really helpful way of bringing things to you, bringing patterns and resources to you so you don't have to go hunting around. Okay, so I've kind of showed you the UI. That's the UI in a nutshell. Now let's throw this pattern onto the page and start playing with it, see, see what we can do. So what I want to do here is just click this button, insert pattern, and you can see it's added the full pattern to the page. But we've got a few things going on. First of all, you see the design is not stretching the full width of the page. Now we can quickly change that by going and changing the page template. I'm gonna click swap template and do a page full width, no title, which is a great one to use as you're um, building out with patterns. So that solves that problem. Um, but also you can see we're missing a block. So the WordPress patterns uh, come with uh, icons built in, but they use a plugin called the icon block. So we need to install that. There's a little reminder to do that, install. And um, let's go ahead and publish this page and refresh it. Cool, cool. And you can see now all of our icons work as expected. So that looks good. And, um, but there's another issue that uh, you may have noticed here. So this doesn't quite look exactly like the preview that we um, saw in the pattern modal. And that's because each pattern collection gets its style, its fonts, its colors from a style variation in the Ollie theme. And that's just a quick way of changing the global aesthetic of your site. And um, you can, it, again, it can quickly change um, the spacing, the typography, all that stuff together at once. And Ollie uses those to style the pattern. So what we're looking at here is just the default um, style variation in Ollie. So if we wanna get this to look like the creator collection that we saw, we need to um, hop out of here and go into the editor, go to appearance editor, and then click the styles tab. And you'll see here all of these are styles that ship with the Ollie theme. And some of them just change the colors. You can see this is a blue and a green, but then you'll see we also have Creator, Studio, and Startup, and those are the Ollie Pro Pattern Collections. So if I click Creator, you can see what happened there is our typography changed. And now if I save that and come back over here, you can see now it looks exactly like I saw in the Ollie Pro Pattern Library, and I can also Preview that on tablet and mobile, and it will also look just like I wanted it to. All right, folks, I think I'm gonna leave it there for today. I just wanted to give you a quick run through of the Ollie Pro experience, but this is just the first of many videos I'll be creating about the Ollie block theme, Ollie Pro, and modern WordPress features such as the site editor patterns, global styles, and more. So go ahead and check out the free Ollie block theme at ollywp.com. It's a quick way to get started learning block themes, totally free. And if you like it, check out Ollie Pro. It is just an incredible library of WordPress patterns, expertly crafted, beautiful designs that all click together to give you thousands of combinations that you can create easily in your WordPress site. So thanks for hanging out for a little bit. I'll see you next time.